Welcome to another edition of Minnesota Fats. I'm your host Patrick. It's a Saturday morning. It was a late Friday night. Um, we're working on the big ugly. I'll post pictures later on. Um, needless, well, I almost lost a back door on the van. It was pretty rusty and uh, we had to kind of cobble it together here. So I'm just giving her a, there, that's factory. Giving her a little, little extra love down here. Oh yeah. You definitely want me to paint your vehicles. I'll make it right. <laughs> anyway, today, we're going to a place down in Minneapolis called Hen House Eatery. Um, I don't know if you've ever been or not. Wife and I were down there once at, I believe it was the convention center for a weightlifting competition. Uh, we weren't involved. I'm, for those of you that don't know, I've always wanted to be a power lifter. Um, I, I love watching it. So we went down there and watched a few people work out and uh, do competitions. Anyway, this place is unreal. It is so good. We figured, you know what? Let's make a video on it. So here we go. So here we are, we're entering, or coming up to the Hen House Eatery. It's, like I said, it's a pretty nice place. Been here once before. They, uh, during the summer, they'll have a couple little tables outside so you can dine out here and listen to all of that. That's a good time. <laughs> Check this out. Cinnamon, caramel, a berry roll, an apple roll, cookies, s'mores, cereal bars. Oreo cake, coconut, a hen house cake. They also got stuff for sale. Bye. 
So we're sitting here playing cribbage and uh, my caramel roll came up and he's got an apple cinnamon roll. And it looks like it's actually got chunks of green apple in it. So here we got the hen house omelet. Uh, we'll see what it's like on the inside. He's got the kitchen sink omelet. That's got literally everything in there. Oh boy. Mine's got hash browns, onions, peppers, shrooms. Okay. She has a California omelet with tomatoes, bacon, guacamole, and lots of goodness, and extra muffin. That cinnamon roll actually has chunks of apple inside of it as well. Alrighty, so here we are with Hollywood. His, uh, it's up there. <laughs> What'd you think? It's pretty good. Um, I was really impressed with the cinnamon roll. I give that at least a nine, I think. If, if it would have been warm, maybe a little more goop on it. Oh, bigger chunks of apple too. It was just kind of like Julian little apple. Slivers. Yeah. yeah. Flavor was there though. Uh, <coughs> my omelet was good. Big chunks of peppers in it, which isn't exactly my favorite, but the flavor was still there. Everything else in it was good. Nice. Uh, you can taste the egg. You can taste everything. And it wasn't super greasy. Sometimes you get an omelet in there. Yeah. Or there's hash browns in it and sometimes you get like super greasy hash browns yeah it's not it's pretty good yeah i i had also had that other omelet and it was good uh tried something different it had the spinach in it um you guys know i normally veer towards that junk food side uh it was good. It, it had flavor throughout with the mushrooms and all that. It did say that it was supposed to have apple in it, which I kind of side-eyed. Couldn't really taste it. So if it had apple in there, the person would never know. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. Um, it was good. I, I would probably give that a, I'd say, a 7 on its own maybe seven and uh four eighths 16 seconds yeah six seven and 16 30 seconds <laughs> and then uh the caramel roll kind of like uh what hollywood here was saying it it was cold you couldn't even spread the butter on there it i brought mine home just so then i could warm it up mm -hmm. i was just I did ask for it warm, and it, it came out, you know, it's Minnesota, it's 13 below. It it was cold. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'd give that probably a, a four. I mean, I've definitely had better. The service was awesome. Um, it was a little... Uh, I don't even know what to say. It, it was just good service. Um, everybody seemed to be working together. We were parked right next to the bar, and there's a bar in there. You can get uh, breakfast mixers and things like that. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it seemed to have good flow to it. Good um, music. Yeah, really good, upbeat music. Um, the wife had that... Uh, Benedict thingy um, she said it was very filling um, the hollandaise sauce was okay not as good as last week's episode so check that out um, she also said that she probably would order it without the guacamole just because well we're not really big fans of guacamole but she said it thought maybe it made it cold right away because it I don't know and I think she also said about a seven. So, 
seven. So overall, it's not not a bad place. I don't think it was as good a food as when we first went there, uh, the wife and I. But it's not bad. Little bit of spendiness. I'll put it right up right here, right in between. Um, so it's a little more expensive than a mom and pop cafe. Yeah, we we'll just cover him up. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to stick it right there. And we're going just right here. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you're downtown, a lot of times you're going to end up paying more anyway just because of the events and around town and stuff like that. But I don't venture to the cities too much. So these last couple videos I've been trying to do that. It's been too cold to drive 700 miles just to get a meal, so that and with gas prices anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe go to his insta bug him he needs to post more stuff on there probably <laughs> i don't know i don't have an insta or any of that funny stuff uh you folks take care share the video like i say like comment subscribe let me know if anyone wants to go out to eat we'll figure something out uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. You folks take care. Have a very wonderful week. And as always, may God bless. Alrighty, I'm back in my big ugly. There's a little side note here that I forgot to do. Um, there, they got these preserves or jelly. It was mixed berry really really good so good in fact that we actually bought a jar of it they have a couple different size jars for sale uh earlier in the video you guys seen like shirts and things like that there they sell this jelly there's honey there too but this jelly was really really good um totally recommend that like i said the first time we were there the food was I'd say better. Today is maybe an off day. I wouldn't rank it as high. Otherwise, my first visit there was probably eight and a half, nine. Um, I don't remember what I had. I think it was country fried steak. Uh, that's usually one of my go-to staples for breakfast, but I'm trying to try something new. You folks have a very wonderful week. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, may God bless.